On the second floor, you can see portraits of American presidents who have visited the hotel. I'm currently at the U.S. Grant in San Diego. In this video, I'll show you around the hotel and tell you about my breakfast here, the typical room rates and benefits for Marriott Elite members, then I'll give you a tour of my suite. Let's head downstairs and check out the hotel. The U.S. Grant is on the National Register of Historic Places, and the hotel displays many items which showcase the hotel's rich history. You'll see artifacts from the Sikwan tribe because the hotel is built on their ancestral lands, and they actually purchased the hotel back in 2003. The hotel was originally built by the son of President Grant, so you'll see his portrait when you enter from the valet entrance of the hotel. Out the other side of the hotel, you'll find San Diego's Gaslamp District, which is home to many of the best bars and restaurants in the city. In between the elevators, you'll see this old style mailbox that's a cool place to send off a postcard or something. If you go downstairs, you'll find the hotel gym. When you enter the gym, you'll see a seating area and you can get chilled towels and bottled water. The variety of gym equipment is decent, but it's kind of uncommon to put machines facing the walls like this. On the second floor, you can see portraits of American presidents who have visited the hotel. Portraits of the first ladies are right across from them. In the morning, they put coffee and tea out in the lobby, and in the afternoon, they switch that out for a light, refreshing mocktail. To learn more about the hotel's history, you can pick up a booklet from the hotel reception desk, and guests who are staying at the hotel can join a guided tour on Saturdays. The main restaurant in the hotel is Grant Grill, which also has a bar and lounge. Up until 1969, the restaurant was men only until 3 p.m., but this all changed when six women staged a lunch sit-in. There's now a plaque outside of the restaurant which tells you about what happened. So I found the hotel's menu from 1943, which shows that a Manhattan cocktail costed 35 cents. These days, it'll cost $18, but it's aged for 100 days. The restaurant has a plaque which explains how this was to commemorate the hotel's 100th anniversary. For breakfast at Grant Grill, they started me off with a small muffin. I ordered the quiche, and while the salad dressing was a little bit sour for my taste, I thought that the actual quiche and the potatoes were excellent. Given the quality of the breakfast here, I really want to return to the restaurant to have lunch or dinner sometime. Since the U.S. Grant is part of the luxury collection by Marriott, guests who have Marriott Platinum status or higher will get $21 of breakfast food credit for themselves and one other guest for each night of their stay. Guests who have an American Express Platinum card can book through the Fine Hotels and Resort program to get an additional $100 of food credit during their stay. Lately, I've seen the basic rooms here at the U.S. Grant go for just under $300 a night to just over $500 a night. You can also book this hotel for between 40,000 and 60,000 Marriott points, which is above average value for points in the United States. If you have Marriott Suite Night Awards, you can use those to upgrade to the lower tier suites, and that's how I got my upgrade to a landmark suite. I'll now show you around the suite. Here in the bedroom, we have this really luxurious bed, 
with a headboard that's actually a work of art. It's even signed by the artist in the corner. On the nightstand, there's this handle that looks like it's for a drawer, but it's actually a pull-out table that you can put things on. There's a good amount of plugs in the room, and most of the lights have dimmer switches. The bathroom is very nice, but it can feel a little bit cramped. Their amenities come from two brands, which are Byredo and Gilchrist and Soames. I particularly liked their conditioner. On the bathroom door, they hung this very nice robe. The other one is inside of the closet, which has your typical things, as well as this US Grant paper bag and slippers. When I returned to my room at night, I found that they had completed a turndown service. This included a bottle of water on the bedside table and a bucket of ice. If you need more ice, you can get that from the coolers near the elevator. Everything from the bed to the couch were really comfortable, but there are a couple of things that I can nitpick. First is that the TVs don't directly face the couch and the bed, and you can't shift their position either. Second is the not so good view from my room. Third is that during the day, I could hear quite a bit of noise, such as trolleys from Civic Center Station across the street. These things and the aforementioned lack of recreational facilities make me feel like this hotel isn't trying to target families that are here on vacation, but rather business people and politicians who want a nice place to stay when traveling for work. A fun fact is that since presidents actually stay in the presidential suites here, the Secret Service was involved in designing them. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate if you let the like button know and check out my other videos about hotels and things to do in San Diego.